Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. So today I'll be doing your love reading, your um, what is that? Detailed love reading, detailed love report. Yeah, detailed love report for Taurus, June twenty eighteen. So I've actually shuffled the cards before. Uh, just shuffle uh, one more time, one more time for you, um, Taurus. Taurus for June twenty eighteen. Let's see. Uh, what do we have for your love reports? Okay, for Taurus, June twenty eighteen. I said one more time, right? But this is the second time, but doesn't matter. So it has been shuffled. Um, let me see. Cutting the cards. It will be a spread of ten cards, um, in the row of threes, and the last card will be right at the bottom. In the middle of it. <laughs> All right, it's done. So let me see what do I have for you on the cards over here. I think the first thing that came to my mind uh, that was downloaded to me basing on the cards here is actually that you are not able to let go of the past whatever is of the past um, it could be people from the past but not so strongly not so strongly uh, on that but just something about the past probably reminiscing about the past anything like reminiscing about the past the, the, the good times from the past or someone from the past uh, or your current relationship like in the past it used to be um, happier it used to be so much more fun more good times than as of current I see you doing a lot of comparison from now and then or from then to now comparing between two the two different extreme ends you're just not able to let it go like let the past let the past be the past or rather you are just pretty insistent of having the same like because Taurus you are a fixed you are a fixed sign is that So it's quite difficult for you to make a change, to make a tweak. I understand that. Let's see what is following that. It just came to my mind that it might just be that there was some kind of evil uh, uh, or shadow that's daunting you um, like from the past some kind of uh, some kind of um, bad encounters or not so good events that you have actually had uh, have had shadow in yourself I think this is more like it yeah more like the past shadow the past event that is daunting that is haunting you to now or maybe this month at this point in time you sort of think are thinking back a lot about the past um, you might you might be in a good time now but maybe mm, or maybe not um, how do I put it do, do you know how like sometimes it just happened that it just happened that uh, you know you just when you have some free time or you know when or probably you have actually achieved uh, or get to a certain stage in life or get to a certain certain uh, level for yourself in terms of prestige I'm saying hang on there's a electronic bike or a scooter e-scooter coming So I think there is this looking back 
or sort of like reviewing like reviewing how you actually came through uh, from all those obstacles from the past I think if you saw one of the readings from earlier this month probably about a week ago look through that I think uh, I can't remember what was the title of the video but I know that Taurus I did say something like um, you are actually on your way to grow to progress in your life and you're doing pretty good probably just uh, some hiccups uh, on and off on and off from uh, time to time uh, so I see you progressing overall it is still it is still pretty good I mean overall it is still pretty good nothing too bad about it I see you progressing like there was already you're already a, a level a level up from before and if you have been following me uh, from last from last year uh, at one point of time I I started this thing and then um, I had a reading last year for you <clears throat> you cannot find it in the video in the list anymore I have uh, removed it just wanted to start afresh for myself um, so last year in that reading it says something like you know you are um, you are actually um, putting your actions into plan so last year sometime last year you were actually getting ready for a lot of things like planning or you know step by step baby steps so that was last year so by now one year later for you and for me one year later uh, we start to see how uh, we have grown we have grown in terms of in terms of a person like yourself grow as a person or in terms of materially uh, that where you are right now today so I see I see you growing okay but that's beside the point so now <laughs> sorry coming back to, it, we should talk more about your love reading so but I think it 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 still matters because then you know all this all this uh, fruition all your results today was actually through a lot of um, obstacles you you came through you got past that all those obstacles that was from the past like not just love I mean I, I sorry I'm so sorry I couldn't help it I couldn't help it to deviate away from this love reading but I feel that everything it's um, it, it is actually a factor like they just they all play a part in your life in your love life today so um, so okay let's speed up a little bit more yeah I see okay so overall I see there is this comparison and this review reviewing back to the past in a way I'm seeing that this review might not be on the cards whatever is on the cards over here is it, it is saying that it it is uh, not it is not the best thing to do right now or it, it is not going to serve you at your best sorry there's a group of people coming if you hear any noises bear with it so um so crazy over here anyway yeah so on the cross it is saying that um, it might not be uh, it might not be a good thing I know sometimes reviewing back is good sometimes we do review or even at work you know time to time we have like a uh, your 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 what like annual review half yearly quarterly review of your work yeah I mean reviews like that in life is good uh, but specifically for this reading itself I'm seeing that it uh, you might just want to you know just uh, not look too not look too much into the past and move ahead move forward you have to understand that things happen you have to yeah you just have to understand that things happen it's it's not gonna be everyday Sunday uh, and then you don't get to see rainbow every day so having ups and down it's just part and parcel of it is just part and parcel of life or even in a relationship hang on another group coming I'm so sorry I already do it like 3 a.m. in the morning in the middle of the night
if you do not know, I'm actually from Singapore, so I'm now in Singapore. Uh, because if you know Singapore, it's a very very safe place. So in the middle of the night, and you see like things like the lamps. In Singapore, there's no corner that's without lights. So if you want to hanky panky, no. <laughs> so it's very safe over here. Uh, okay. So don't don't look back into the past. Just move forward and understand that everything, it is all that you have been through that makes you. Uh, to be what you are today okay um, okay towards your relationship or your love uh, your status right now um, your marital status your relationship status or your your conditioning with your partner right now again um, if you actually cross watch the the last few signs uh, the videos that I did for the last few signs if it's like if you cross watch for your Sun Moon rising Sun Moon rising or Venus uh, I said this thing about platonic it is happening so much in this round of reading that I see a lot of platonic uh, relationship over here and the same goes for you Taurus I wanted to say Libra I do not know why could you be dealing with anyone with Libra or air in their chart but so in this next following spread I'm seeing is that it's very platonic I don't see any intimacy between you and your partner or I don't see uh, a lot of intimacy or I don't see a very good healthy kind of bonding intimate bonding and you know it is necessary in a relationship I think as we progress these days to now in this generation I think intimacy is just um, has been has been gradually incorporated in a relationship unlike like in the past I do not know like our grandparents they like it's a taboo to be intimate before you even uh, get committed with someone but so I don't see intimacy today and it's very much like each of you are living on your own uh, living your own life pretty much to a certain extent to a certain degree it could be you are um, I think in a harsher way in a harsher way it would it would look very much like you know both of you are sort of sort of but no not not that sort of like living separate life like you do your things I do my thing like I'm on my I'm focusing on on myself on my business on my work my career and so is your partner he or she doesn't matter but you know I, I see that things are good things are good you can you are still you know getting together going out for dinner having dates together um, living together cohabiting I see that I see that here it's just that the intensity is not there Taurus you are the opposite sign of Scorpio so to a certain degree we carry we possess the same uh, same um, emotional needs I'm a Sun Scorpio I've been saying that in most of the videos so I'm a Sun Scorpio we need a lot of a lot of intensity a lot of we need it to be deep we don't like shallow even even in your own circle of friends or whoever that you are like people around you 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 define your friends as like who is going deep down with you during your down times going through thick and thin with you so this is how you define your friends and this is the same to how you define your relationship as well at least also in this reading that I'm seeing over here if I could say it bothers you and that could be the reason why you were actually you know reminiscing about the past like when you first get together with your partner with your spouse those good times those good days if you were reminiscing about the better days the better times 
but also some of you could be reminiscing about uh, like vice versa I see the only thing over here the only thing over here might just be the keyword commitment no no hierophant here no hierophant here uh, but I see it is actually commitment intensity and commitment like I think it is looking a lot like responsibility to us you know when you grow in a relationship like when you get old or any one of you who are um, going towards your uh, your middle middle your midlife your midlife you know that it's no longer about love and so today the few of you who are watching this today whatever your age is whatever time of your life you are at this is already your concern right now definitely your concern there's no commitment okay I do not know what's the other what are what are the other synonyms that I can replace it if not for commitment but okay maybe not so much like commitment but I couldn't find a word but it's just very into you super into you your partner your love interest may just be like sometimes it feels like taking you for granted like they know that you are always there and you will always be there you will never leave them you never leave them for any reason and that to a certain extent it causes them to make you feel like make you feel like that you have been taken for granted but I want to tell you that I don't see I don't see it as so it is just them like they are just being comfortable comfortable having you in their life around them and it's like you know which is a good thing where you you have actually progressed to that level where it is really a lot about hanging on it's no longer so much about passionate like really passionate see love passionate love no so if I can conclude that if I can conclude that I would think that I, the way I'm looking at your relationship your love life right now it looks it looks pretty good you are probably the only one that's having a pretty good reading the only one you might be concerned that your partner has got some like female contacts female friends um, which bothers you some of you you might you might have this concern but I don't see there's any major concern that you should be so concerning about It's just the way they are. It is just the way they are. Like they are just they are just people person. They mix with anyone from anywhere. So it it is just them. But overall, this this love report that I've got for you over here, nothing too serious for you. Is I think the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck over here, it is your energy. I think it is really a lot about your expectation. You have to manage your expectation. Um, you have to manage your own expectation. Uh, but I know that Taurus, like I always said in all the other videos, you are a person with standards. You are a person with expectation. And that's the reason why some aspect of your life you find it so difficult or 
you find it unfulfilling because expectation you have got expectation for yourself but I just want to remind you Taurus you are in a good place you are in a good place just have to manage your expectation I think you will feel a lot better tell me tell me how how are you faring after this after this video and probably in a in a couple of weeks time or maybe when I do the next month uh, report tell me how are you faring comparing to this month of June try to manage yourself try to look past that um, I do not know how but if you like to write to me your stories feel free to my contact is always there my door is always open for every one of you might not be a reading you might like me as a person we can make a friend something along the line okay I know this is very shameless very thick skin but I just want to serve however I could be serving to the people out there and this is our job as a reader so rest assured rest assured nothing too um, too serious about it about your or nothing too concerning in your love life today it's just really a lot about your expectation stop thinking about all those past all the good times and stop comparing don't compare talking about comparing it might also be you know sometimes you the people around you they have a different kind of relationship dynamic than to you and that could be the reason why you start to compare Please take my advice very seriously. Don't compare. I'm going through the cards. If you keep on comparing, if the cards here, what it is saying is that it will bring you down. It will bring your relationship down. Don't compare. If I could say, this is your choice, this is your decision, you have to live with it. You have to live with it. And you have to accept it that change is the only constant change. People change after 10 years. I believe that a lot of you, your relationship are pretty um, long term or you are going looking forward to the long haul. You have to accept it that people change. And so, you have to go with the flow as well. Invest, invest more time, more time to communicate, invest in more time to communicate or invest your time or distract yourself, or divert your focus to build on, to work on a better you because you are what you attract. So if you, if you work on yourself, your partner will gradually see that oh you are a treasure like you are one fine lady one very capable lady girl girlfriend wife um, or if you are a male will be a potential husband husband boyfriend partner whatever invest invest in this relationship I think I could yeah I would tell you to invest in this relationship don't don't have any doubts anymore don't don't do that okay so if there's anything that I haven't addressed to like your concern over here um, let me know in the comments or write them to me privately see how I could just add on uh, towards your reading over here but otherwise if you need like very specific to your own life your own love matters uh, you are always welcome to write to me uh, in this month if you look at the description box below it is something very good Look at the description box below uh, if you need a personal reading. The details are all in there. No expectation in there. In there. So um, 
I hope this works for you uh, or this reading helps you in any small little way the this reading basically I really just want to be a mirror image of your of your life of your love life at least in this love reading be a mirror image for you to show you some clarity or to show you from a third party stance so just so that you know you could have more clarity to to move forward to progress in life but if otherwise um, if it's not for you so be it okay um, and till then I will see you in whatever next video I'll be making for you thanks a lot Taurus and I'll see you very soon bye bye